one. Wow, look at this ladies and gentlemen. This is Bart Coppens and today I'm going to show you a giant species of beetle that I found in a natural reserve in southeastern Brazil. This is Acrocinus longitarsus, also known as the harlequin beetle. And these beetles have a very unusual morphology as you can see because first of all they have elongated forelegs that they use to wrap around trees and tree trunks. And second of all it's huge and has a beautiful coloration. Fantastic! And if you grab it, it even protests making an audible sound. Can you hear that? Well, this is a species I've wanted to see all my life, so I'm really really excited to see it. Now it may look really scary and dangerous, but in reality this animal is completely harmless if you don't excessively harass it like I do. So uh, do as I say, not as I do, I suppose. Now beetles are very important in the environment here, especially longhorn beetles and their relatives. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of large beetles, rhino beetles, stag beetles. And what they all have in common is that the larvae, the grubs, mostly feed on decomposing wood. Wood is very hard to digest, so they are usually uh, held by fungi. And the role beetles have in this environment is they regulate the vegetation, more or less, by decomposing wood of rotting trees and in some cases even uh, boring into healthy trees. Now just look at that. I have to say I'm no specialist in beetles, I'm more into butterflies and moths, but if I get the opportunity to show you insects like this, oh yeah, it's gonna be whoop, a YouTube video. I got it. So how about the life cycle and biology of this species in particular then? Well, the larvae of these species bore into living trees. The grubs are large and milky white and can bore tunnels in the wood. Their host plants are numerous and include certain species of fig trees or ficus, but also saiba, loncocarpus and many more. They can even use introduced tree species such as eucalyptus. Clearly these beetles are not super specialized and can actually use a wide range of trees to complete their development. Reportedly the adult beetles are able to feed on tree sap as well and can be attracted to wounded or bleeding trees. The extremely long forelegs help them climb trees, but also helps them effectively mate with females and guard them from rival males. This beetle in particular was found in Regua, a natural reserve known as Reserva Ecológica de Guapiatsu in southeastern Brazil. Consider visiting us someday if you want to see cool beetles too. We take volunteers and tourist visitors. And guess what? I found a lot of beetles here in Brazil. So subscribe for more beetle videos in the future. This channel is demonetized by YouTube and they refuse to say why. I do not make any money from my videos beyond what I can crowdfund. If you like my show, consider becoming a Patreon member. It helps greatly.